Geometry Dash has some of the most impossible things you can do in game that nobody has ever done before. There are plenty of things however that seem impossible, but when taking a deeper dive into the game, you realize that in actuality they are possible. In this video I'll talk about 21 of these cases, and they will significantly get more and more groundbreaking to the point where you think, there is no way this happens. There will be 4 stages, each stage gradually getting weirder, and last but not least, enjoy the video. To start off simple, let's take a look at the level jumper, one out of the 21 main levels. This level has nothing special in it, except for a trick that can be performed which technically is possible to do but never has been done before. When taking a look at weird ways to beat wrapped up levels, we eventually get to jumper. Everything starts off as nothing too crazy, until we get to the yellow ship portal. By perfectly clicking 100 clicks per second, you can skip the yellow portal and never switch gravity. This is pretty cool, but it's nothing impressive in comparison with what comes later in the video. A little weirder is a fun thing I recently discovered. When looking at the home screen of the game, you always see icons peacefully pass by, which you can destroy. These all are obtainable icons which you can get in your icon inventory. Few people though know that the first icon in the home screen will always be a cube, no matter how many times you restart, and after this cube it is once again randomized. This also is a good way to get the gotta catch em all achievement, which you get when clicking on this cube icon. Another unknown discovery that was made first seemed really odd to some people, even though it is really simple to pull off. You can play GD vertically and it's pretty simple to do, which is why it's so low on the list. If you play this game on your phone, you might be able to turn the screen on your device with a specific force rotate button. This doesn't work on every phone, but if you can, good job. I guess this will be very, very useful to use. There are more than a million songs that can be used in a jump trash level, and these songs can be chosen in this editor tab. You can manually choose save songs or type the ID of these songs which are shown on the Newgrounds website URL. These IDs aren't infinite though, and if you type in an ID that hasn't been used for a song yet, you might think that no song comes up, but this isn't true. When entering the ID, you see the song back on track rise up on screen, which means this song kind of exists infinitely, because all IDs above 1.50 million are all back on track. Okay, when looking at this bar, you think that there are two ways to find levels. By typing the level ID or by writing the level its name down. Only a couple of people though know that there is one other way to find the level you're looking for. The scientific notation. If this sounds too complicated for you, well, by typing a 1 in the search bar for example and then typing the symbols E and 7, you will find yourself the 10 millionth ID. This is because the number after E will multiply the level before E by 10 and it's a fun way to find levels. From here on out, we will raise the bar a decent amount to talk about some grazier stuff. When you play a level and eventually beat it, you can always go down to the information button on the bottom left of the level. You can see the attempts, jumps and the percentage, but barely anyone knows that there is one other thing that is possible to see. This thing had always been an in-game secret, until a mod called Better Info got released which uncovered this secret. Apparently Robtop stores the times you click in a level on the best attempt you get, but it was never shown in the info tab, because apparently it was just kind of useless. However, a thing that was the opposite of useless is all based on this level right here, Apocalypse Realm. This level is infamous for being impossible, since there's a gap that can't be crossed, and it seems like this is the only way to pass the level. One year ago however, a player that went by the name of Steakman and some other guys discovered a way to pass it, and it was crazy. He used 5 bucks, one that made an orb he used earlier be able to travel with him, so he could use it again, which you can see in this part, one that made the game freeze, and 3 other really impressive of ones that led to this crazy glitch being pulled off, making this impossible level possible. The gap recently has been fixed. Quests are one of the most generic things in Geometry Dash, only having a couple different tasks to do that reward you the same thing. Since it is so useless, the next fact comes into clutch. You can make the quest stop forever, without the use of bugs or any other resources. When the timer of the quest eventually reaches zero and you are watching the quest live, they won't refresh and it is possible to never do any of those useless things again. The last thing I'll talk about before you move the craziness up a notch again, is the possibility to pass this. You must think that I'm crazy right now, since this consists out of tightly packed slopes, but this actually is a myth because these slopes basically do not exist. Let's zoom in on the scaling. It looks normal, except for the minus before the number 1, making this number negative, which is done with specific bypass hacks. 
Because these slopes now are scaled negatively, they still look the same but their hitboxes are completely gone, making this level extremely easy to pass. Now it is time to move up the bar again, and it also is time to get serious. The first thing that belongs to this category was discovered by a YouTuber named C. Volton. By using the GD browser website, you can send yourself a message, and by viewing it, a new feature pops up in Geometry Dash. You can now block yourself. A bunch of weird stuff will happen, like you not being able to view your own profile and all your messages containing C. This luckily will all go away when restarting the game, but it's pretty funny that this is possible. Alright, whenever you created a level, you are always given the chance to request the difficulty of a level in stars, ranging from easy to demon, aka 1 to 10 stars. Well, what if I told you this is not true? A player by the name of Jab did the impossible by somehow requesting 100 stars. If you play the level though, you quickly see that this doesn't even deserve 2 stars, let alone 100. This is pretty weird, but the next one just doesn't make any sense at all. It is about these two ship sizes. One one being the tiny one and one being the big ship one. In any type of contest about which ship can pass the tightest gap, the mini ship would win, except for one contest. You have spy gaps, soul gaps and a lot more, and one of these remaining gaps is a block gap. You might not think it is possible, but the big ship with a bigger hitbox can move through tighter block gaps than the mini ship by sort of clipping through the block. This is the case because there are two hitboxes being used in the ship. The red one that is used with spikes and the much smaller blue one that is used with blocks. The mini ship has a very very small red hitbox because it is so tiny, but a bigger blue hitbox. And because this hitbox is bigger than the big ship, it cannot go through very small corridors like the big ship can. Did you know that there once was a possibility of seeing a Robtop account that wasn't the actual Robtop? In a certain time period, some players found out about an exploit that made it possible to recreate any account, just like this would be done with Robtop is one. By putting characters in your name that couldn't be showcased on your profile, you could visually create a Robtop account by putting some slashes in your name, and people were impersonating a lot of famous players. Luckily this quickly got fixed. Before we move to the final stage with the craziest possible things, I have to tell you about this one. You can go upside down without an upside down portal. And this by far is the easiest thing to recreate on the list, since you only need one object to make this happen. By using a cube portal you can do this, which sounds impossible to do. When enabling 2 player mode however, for some reason the cube portal, instead of having normal gravity, now is reverse gravity, making you fly into the air and die. Now though, it is time to talk about the greatest possible impossible things. And the ones I'll talk about will each time get a little more strange. The first one belonging to this category is that there's a new way to make the biggest jump possible. Instead of the highest click for a queue being around 2 blocks high, you now can jump 50 times as high. Even though this one isn't that confusing to figure out, it is still interesting to talk about. A hack that goes by the name of Mega Hack V7 has a pretty hidden feature where you are able to change the gravity of the player. You can make this so low that the player actually reaches the border of the map and dies. However, these two were just an introduction of what is yet to come, so let's continue. On March 28, 2022, a Twitter user by the name of Nathy uploaded the Drummond for Dash video. She was playing a level and everything was going great. This was until something weird took place. When restarting the level for the millionth time, it seemed like everything was normal. Until this happened. The level auto-completed itself in the middle of the attempt. It looks like some weird bug, but in actuality something really rare had just occurred. Before the weird attempt, she was able to beat the level, and the ending screen was ready to come on screen. Just when she restarted the level, the end screen loaded. But while this happened, the next attempt already had started, which is why this happened. There only are three more things to cover, and the last one will blow your mind. The first one out of the three is all about the vault. The vault is a place where you can write special codes to unlock specific icons. The codes consist out of names like Lenny, Robotop, Spooky, and a bunch of other names on this list. However, a Robtop got bored from making these easy codes and made two codes that barely anyone could figure out. These codes were called Unicorn and Robtop Power 1, 2, 3. They were specifically made for genius people mining for data of the game, and these data miners finally came across these secret codes that don't do anything but it's a cool little fact. 
What if I told you your icon can float without the help of any objects? Just like the reverse portal that isn't reverse, this is very simple to pull off, just a little weirder. As you can see right here, the icon is hovering above the ground and I kinda liked with the floating thingy. You see, the icon just seems like it is floating, but in actuality it is still completely intact. The game is just very confused because of a certain thing. This certain thing is you hitting a small sized portal and on the perfect moment restarting. The game now doesn't know what to do and makes the mistake to show a very very tiny icon, even though the odds of this happening is very low. The final most groundbreaking thing on the list I found will weird you out. Let's take it one step at a time. Just kidding. You can travel in the ground. There's nothing sketchy about it and I'm not gonna say some random plot twist. Nope, you can actually do this and barely anyone knows it. In this clip it looks like your cube is hidden and that you're traveling on some invisible platform, but this is an illusion. You are actually moving through portals inside the ground here, which normally is not possible, but by using an orb that travels with you, there somehow is a way to keep teleporting under the ground. And if you want proof, this is the Y position of the cube and it currently is less than zero, meaning it is under the ground. I hope you guys enjoyed and be sure to like and maybe even subscribe. Goodbye Apple Pie.